Another non-ideal effect that we didn't consider was that we assumed that there was no fixed charge in the oxide in the ideal case. But the reason why there's a flat band voltage and all that is because there could be some charge in the oxide. Okay, so this flat band voltage does take that into account. Here's the charge. That's the charge in the oxide. And that will affect the flat band voltage. And it does also affect the capacitance because you have some charge that we didn't account for earlier. So here's how it's going to affect the capacitance. Uh, the blue curve is the ideal case where um, this was accumulation, we go into depletion, and this is the, the high frequency um, inversion part. So the blue curve was the ideal case where we had no uh, charge in the oxide. But if we add charge to the oxide, it starts shifting the curve uh, to the left. And so this is this first curve is for one amount of fixed charge in the oxide. The second curve is if you have even more fixed charge in the oxide. Third curve is if you have even more fixed charge in the oxide, and so forth. And you notice that also shifts the, the flat band voltage to a larger and larger negative voltage, which is what we would expect.